Hey everybody, Radioactive here for another day of videos in the month of October. Today we're going to be installing and doing FPS numbers on the 8-shot Elite Cylinder that I sell on my shop. Both as a file set and a physical item. 8-shot um, is pretty standard. The only required mod that is a uh, part of this uh, upgrade cylinder, you have to remove the air restrictor. Does not work with the air restrictor. Um, you can follow the, the little bit of the modification guide I did, um, I think the second day or the third day of October, and just not take off the cap, and then that's your, your required mods done. Um, just the air restrictor. You don't have to do the basic kit or anything like that, but I do recommend it. Um, so, this uh, this rotator piece is separate. You do have to screw it in with the included or a Nerf screw, either or, depending on if you have the file set or the physical version. Just, just snug enough. You don't want it to move around, but you don't want to strip the plastic out. Uh, so, pretty pretty simple install here, just, and there you go. Uh, let's put it back together. Um, you can, I didn't hear, but you can put uh, some silicone oil or lube on these rotator teeth, just to be sure that you're getting the right, uh, that your rotation's all good. Let's put this all back together. This is the second take, unfortunately. I uh, accidentally turned off my camera like, right before I actually started, so nothing was, uh, was salvageable. So performance, these barrels are really tight. Performance probably should stay around the same as a uh, as the stock cylinder, but it can go higher. Now this, uh, this cylinder, it's not necessarily an FPS improvement type of deal, just really ammo capacity. However, it should take an upgrade spring better, so performance should be better with an upgrade spring, especially because of how tight the barrels are. If you've gotten the seal, if you've gotten the seal correct, then you should have no problems at all. Let's now put in the full length elite darts. This is just the, uh, the kind of baseline that I decided to go with for these sets of tests. Just because, well, the darts come with the blaster. And um, they're, they're a pretty good baseline. Heavier darts will get slightly lower performance. Everybody knows what how elite darts perform. However, we will be testing some half darts, both in shotgun and uh, pushed all the way back into the barrel. Let's see if we can get some shots. 82, 1, 90.8, 92.5, 96, 84.3, that one hit the side of the wall, that was like 70 FPS, 93.7, 100.7 uh, FPS. Now, let's put those off to the side, this off to the side, and let's, let's uh, put in our half darts. So we're gonna do shotgun for the first two, and then the next two we'll have the darts pushed all the way into the bottom of the barrel. Oh, where'd you come from? 
Sorry if you can hear me sniffling. I kind of woke up with a little bit of a something. And let's shove these all the way down into the bottom of the barrel. Now, unfortunately, this cylinder is not uh, rear load compatible. Right, let's, let's get this going. 66.7 FPS. 66.1 FPS. All right, that's nice. And now for the darts pushed all the way into the back of the barrel. 98.3 FPS. And 101, oh, that hurts, FPS. 100 FPS isn't much. Honestly, for the, the first shot, oh, there was a dart stuck down in there. Um, so yeah, here we go. So 100 FPS isn't much to get hit by, but when you get hit in the same exact spot so many times, it, ugh. All right. Shot memory, so you can see the results. That one hit the side. And that's all the full lengths. Now we go into shotgun. So, a little bit higher than stock, but with two darts. It's only two darts, but it it could be useful in games that require number of hits or have benefits for shotguns or what have you. And then the darts pushed all the way to the back of the barrel. So, pretty good. 100 FPS, that's... Well, it's higher than anybody else is apparently able to hit. So yeah, this these uh, cylinders, I think I've said this already, uh, the cylinder is available in file and physical form on my shop, Radioactive Designs. Um, the links for everything are going to be in the description. And the installation video for the Dead Space Filler, that link will also be in the description. Uh, I don't really know how to put anything on the top yet, I'm still working on everything. Maybe by the end of the month I'll finally understand how to do it. So next video, I think we're going to do elite dart, not elite, um, ultra darts. So that should be fun. It's been radioactive. Have a good day.